Hello everyone, I am Felipe Vial and I will present the work on Tutelider Architectural Exploration of FPGA-based hardware accelerator for the Gaussian filter using approximate computing, carried out together with Guilherme Bors and Cesar Zeferino. The presentation is divided into introduction, the Gaussian filter, architectural implementation results and conclusions. With the increased adoption of computer vision management applications, we also see the increase uh, in the use of deep in the stages, uh, such as detection, segmentation, and tracking. The use of deep brings the restrictions that imply in technologies and techniques used for this implementation. And the use of hardware acceleration together with FPGA technologies offer efficiency and several aspects the project and allows to deal with uh, restrictions found in DIP. With the use of hardware accelerator, we explore architectural specs such as mathematics operator, uh, ACT, and communication, intraship or astraship. This scan allows you to find the most suitable scan for each application and DIP restrictions. Therefore, Severa works six to explore architectural aspects. Following this trend, we present an architectural exploration of Gaussian filter and we will explore the application of precision scaling and memoization and uh, to the impact of metrics such as uh, resource, quality, performance and energy. The Gaussian filter has its application in the initial stages of edge detection filters, for example. This filter allows removing noise in doing a fending of the image using the values of neighboring pixels. Besides, the more distance is the neighbor, the less relevant it is. For DIP, the Gaussian equation goes through a discretization and also this equation allows paralyzing the filters viral and color. With the definition of the filter, we start to build the architecture. The accelerator is divided into control, delay line, and convolution block. The delay line is used to reduce access in the image memory, the initial delay being the size of the mask in cycles and after one cycle is needed. The first convolution block is the 2D Gaussian. There are multipliers in the first stage to multiply the pixels with the mask. In the subsequent stages, partial additions with pipeline register are implemented to break the critical path. In the second version, Modify Gaussian adds the values of the pixels that have the same coefficient as the mask first. This makes fewer multipliers be to be used, but creates the overflow in the sum. The overflow is dealt using uh, larger data words that make others more expensive. Multiplication operations in LUT-based Gaussian are replaced by LUT, since there are only 256 possible values for each coefficient. This is because the pixels are 8 bits. The number of LUTs is equal to the number of coefficients or multipliers. The separated Gaussian version uses the characteristic of Gaussian filter to be able to divide the convolution into two stages. In the first stage, convolution is performed per line with a modified version of the delay line. In the second stage, convolution is performed by column. The two steps can take place in parallel. There is a need to work with a large data words to avoid overflow. We use uh, DMA to transfer data between FPGA and ARM processor. The IP is the DMA controller from Intel. In the evaluations, we use filters with three different masks. Uh, in the metrics, we evaluate the fixed point precision use metrics uh, of quality. We also evaluate the acceleration and the energy of different architectures presented before. The tools uh, used were model SIM for simulation and Intel Quartz Prime for synthesis, targeting the FPGA Cyclone 5. The image show uh, were using the project level and uh, for testing the accelerator on different architectures presented before. 
The analysis with 3x3 mask with 8 bits is done because it has the best quality result and with 4 bits is done because it is the minimal acceptable precision with the smallest mask. The analysis with 7x7 mask with 8 bits is done because it is the largest uh, configuration of the filter coverage. Highlighted, we can see that in the different metrics, the different filters get good results. For the 3x3 4 bit precision approach, Modified has the best, better architecture. For the 7x7 with 8 bit precision, the loot based one uh, is what stands out a best architecture. The graphic comparison presented is about the average metrics values obtained with uh, aid of Intel Quartz Prime uh, tool for different masks. We can also no, uh, note uh, acceleration over uh, 200 times compared to the software version in ARM. We concluded that the use of FPGA accelerator plus ACT technique enables quality and processing performance. We noticed that the architecture used uh, had an impact on the filter metrics being the application or guide for the choose one. Future work will compare the FPGA accelerators with the NEO unit of the ARM processor. For more information, you can contact us uh, by email. Uh, we would like to thank uh, CNPK and CAPS for their support. And for more works, you can visit the LED Lab Instagram. Thank you.